Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight we're doing another little video on force oscillator. I know I've done quite a few, but this one's a little bit different. So we have the typical Bedini force oscillator circuit that I use on most of my videos. Um, we have the transistor, um, the output diode that's going over here to the cap dump. Um, this is 8, 8, 10,000 at 25 volts and then it's being triggered at 15 volts so we'll be charging this battery right here and um, this will be our input battery and so this is just a regular transformer um, so I can't really read it very well but it's um, 120 to 12 um, 2 amps and you have the three leads on the secondary which we're going to be using as our primary so um, Set it on the regular force oscillator, right? You have you have two wires of um, small gauge and two wires of larger gauge. So um, we have this one, and then what you do is you tie the opposite one together, like this. So this becomes this leg right here. So this goes to positive, which starts the force oscillation, and then this goes to um, this side of the of the transistor. And the little one comes in right here as the trigger, as the purple wire. So this is set up the same because this is a center tap. So you could use this just like that. So that's how I have it set up. And I have a 1K on here instead of a 2K. And um, then it just goes through the transformer. And we do have a full bridge rectifier. And then this is a 120 volt LED. Um, I believe it's, this is 4 watts. Uh, the little capacitor on it and so yeah and we'll have it on the scope so we'll fire this thing up so this is really neat little concept um, I'm not sure if very many people know about it but um, you could use this like a force oscillator on this side and you could get you know the cap dump firing with output while it's running so you could charge this battery and then you also have the step up happening so this is basically 10 to 1 and then um, it goes into here and then you have light also on the other side so instead of just having in and out now you have in and out and a high voltage step up so this comes out at about 100 volts and um, you see the the waveform so it kind of goes higher and lower with the cap dump as it charges but um but yeah a usable light and then you still have all the charging effects of a regular cap dump or a regular oscillator. So we're using right about one amp, and then this is our output. Dumping once a second, and um, yeah, really simple. Just these three wires, and then the output. Um, I usually rectify it that way. I could use a little bit of a capacitor to smooth it out, where the light's not flashing, makes it you know a nice constant, nice light. So. Yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching.